is scary. Obviously, it can lead to a bad situation for everyone. Shoppers beware. Surveillance pictures show thieves taking what they want and then violently attacking anyone who gets in their way. Now, even though cameras are all around in these stores, police are saying that shoplifters all over our area are getting more brazen. And now officers are concerned for your safety. Our Tina Terry is live with more on how the thieves are getting away and the warning from police tonight. Yeah, police want you to be on the alert while shopping. They say thieves are loading up carts like this with whatever they want, pushing them right out of the store, and some of them can be dangerous. These surveillance pictures are hard to forget. This spring, Rowan County detectives said young women in a Dick's Sporting Goods took everything they wanted and walked towards the front door and used a pepper spray so powerful it chases bears away on an employee who got in their way. We have had an uptick in uh, larcenies and shoplifting overall. Matthews police officer Tim Acock says this type of brazen shoplifting is happening more often all over the area and it creates safety concerns for anyone around. I mean, obviously, it can lead to a bad situation for everyone. Um, you know, anyone involved, you know, injuries or something like that. And that, you know, we don't want to see that. In June and July, they say shoplifters at this Best Buy injured an employee who tried to stop them. And they say all of these are pictures of recent shoplifters who got away. We call it push outs, where a lot of times, you know, the thieves will go and they'll load up a, a shopping cart or just, you know, everything they can carry in their arms. In Pineville this week, police arrested Arielle Moore, saying she loaded up at this Burlington Coat Factory, then punched a loss prevention officer who tried to stop her. Officials believe she's tied to a group that uses bear spray during store thefts. That's kind of scary. Tonight, police are warning shoppers to be on alert and to stay safe if anything goes down. You know, get out of the way and call 911 as soon as possible. And police in Matthews are working with stores. They're trying to help prevent some of this, even analyzing the times when these thefts are most likely to happen in order to prevent them. Back to you. Wow, Tina, thank you. Those images are pretty scary. The problem doesn't just impact safety, but also your pocketbook. The National Association of Shoplifting Prevention found that shoplifting costs the American taxpaying public $33 billion a year, or $75,000 dollars every minute.